Hello, hello, and... Ooh, I realized I forgot the background music. <laughs> I'll get that squared away in just a second. It's Anon Jr., and we are on the Coffee Craft server. And behind you, you see the project that I was working on while I was home uh, <laughs> for a couple extra days with my hands wrapped up. If you saw Thursday's live stream where I did... Um, where I started off the uh, Season 4 Games Revisited. We were playing through Illusions of Gaia, or Illusion of Gaia. There's only one illusion. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you'll know that I was dealing with a bit of a, a skin thing, that, and my hands were wrapped up, and I was stuck at home. So I uh, spent some time rather awkwardly working on the Guardian Farm. All right. Let me uh, let me run through what we got here. Then I'll get the background music on and get on to the next bit. Uh, you'll remember that we had the kill chamber over here going. That uh, we got that little switch, and when you flip the lever one way, it's for AFK mode, like we got right now. And the other way is kill mode. Arcadius uh, moved one of my gates because apparently the uh, the fish can poke at you with the lasers. And it is not fun. So I'm going to have to figure out what we can do about that. Uh, so i got to see what we can do to obscure their view. Uh, I, I almost wonder if maybe instead of having these pushed down, I put a couple of slabs up here. And that gives you just that little slit to poke them through. I don't know. I'll have to play with that another day. Because the important part is, it works. So we got this little switch between AFK and kill mode. Uh, the honey blocks that you saw there temporarily, because I don't want them to pile up in here, and they will pile up quick. Um, the honey blocks, because they're not a full block, the hoppers will pick them up. I think I had that part already done the last time I went through all this. And the soul sand is also not a complete block, so the hoppers will pull through that. Um, and all that switch does is work this double piston extender to move the honey blocks out and the soul sand back and vice versa. Same basic idea and running off of that same line, I've got this little piston to push up uh, a redstone block to alternately power the different gates. So that's the part that I had pretty much done and working all along. And everything's feeding into this little dispenser that's dumping stuff out into this water stream. And yes, I had to add these uh, gates here because I washed out my own redstone two, three times. It was um, it was not fun. Let's go with not fun. It was very not fun rebuilding that a couple of times. So I set up that little barrier. And, um, and then I finally got all this working. Some of this we already had the last time I worked on the redstone. So the water stream is going to push things out this way. I could have done the traditional sorting system up there uh, like I was originally thinking of doing. I mean, we've seen it a million and two times. And I was kind of looking to do something, something a little different. So this is definitely going to feel a little Rube Goldberg. And uh, let me go to spectator mode to give you a little bit closer view. So in through here comes all the stuff. It gets aligned by that chest to that far left edge there. So that way it'll ride the ice and the edge of the hopper and not get stuck in the little divot in the hopper's box model. I set up two filters here. And these are your bog standard filters that you've seen a million and two times, like what we built out at the witch farm a while back and in the storage building for the bulk storage. And those two filters feed into this little elevator up here that will send things in that water stream and then down around the front and it'll go across the first box here into the first column. Once that fills up or if the hoppers don't collect it, it'll continue on to the second one here. Nice thing is three C pickles will help you make a sharp left turn nicely aligned. So that's why we got that and iron bars the way they are. So shards will come up all across this way and anything that doesn't get picked up either because this is full or it moved too fast will come back down here and get dumped into the mainstream. Uh, that may change at some indeterminate point. Like I, I may, I may toss a, uh, a 
bucket of lava back here instead and just burn the extras because I am a little bit worried about the, the overflow catching too many shards. Um, here I am clicking and waving my hand like you can see it. I'm in spectator mode. Um, so, so that I may just I may just have all this overflow for the shards uh, dump into lava instead of going all the way to the overflow that we'll get to in a minute. So we got two of these storage towers, and you'll notice the redstone looks just a little bit different than uh, when I initially built them, what, three, three or four weeks ago, somewhere around there. Um, I replaced the redstone dust with blocks. This helped cut down on stuff getting unintentionally powered and depowered. Uh, I also moved these repeaters back from being pumped directly into the lights to uh, powering the block behind the light, because here was the problem. Uh, let's say that second chest was filled up. So, so we got the second hopper's worth of items backed up, um, powering up that second line. And uh, let me, I need to point, and I have no hand. There we go. All right, so that second line's powered up, and this guy right here is powering directly that lamp. By powering that lamp directly, it also lights the light above and below. And uh, that that was not quite what we wanted because that, that third, third level was not quite full yet. So by powering that block, this block only powers that one lamp. And that way we, we get just the lamp we want. So we've still got the comparator coming off the first hopper powering this block, which powers that. We got the comparator coming off of the second hopper, wrapping a signal around and then powering a block, powering the lamp. And third one looks like the first one, fourth one looks like the second one. And you can actually make these towers pretty big just by doing that same basic rotation. Now, what about this core redstone blocks you ask? Uh, one of the problems that I was running into in addition to the fact that I don't have a good door to get to and fro underneath here. Um, one of the problems that I was running into is that as items would trickle down the hopper chain to the bottom most uh, box with room, um, each light would sequentially light up because it would temporarily have an item in it. So those guys would die and you'd see light, 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 and then I'd get in there light, 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 and then I get in there. And all those lighting updates were causing all sorts of havoc. So by putting those redstone blocks there, we make sure that uh, we're, we're not powering anything we don't want to. And the comparators over on this side or on the inside edge are comparing the power of the hopper to the power from the redstone block. So this will only emit power when, uh, when they're equal. So when that, when that is full, that is what will actually light up the light. And that hel helps cut down on the trickling lanterns. So it, things don't light up sequentially as they start filling the boxes. And it has the nice side effect of the light is not on until that tier is completely and utterly full to the end of the hopper behind it. So you get you get a, a truer sense of where things are at because before, um, the the second the first item dropped back in the hopper, you'd see the light on. So, yeah, you know, I'm like, oh, that's full. Let me pull from this one, and it wouldn't be filling up yet. And I'd start wondering, oh, what what got broke? Um, nothing got broke. So we've got these two guys with the shards. Uh, that's a placeholder. I, I I want to put something better. Um, in this column here to indicate that these boxes and these boxes are shards. And I don't know if I want to do just an item to the right of each set of boxes, an item plastered to the wall of the lanterns to show what's in them. Uh, I, I got a couple of different options, uh, probably all going to be involving armor stands naturally. Um, so we got those two guys with shards, these two guys with crystals, and it's the same basic idea as what we were doing before. It, over on this side here, we've got our main water stream. So if they don't get picked up on the filter for the shards, 
they come here and get picked up by the filter for the crystals. And it's two filters, just like just like before. And it's going to pop them up, run them across two sets of hopper lines. And if it doesn't get picked up by them, either because for whatever reason the hoppers didn't grab them or both columns are full, it dumps them back into the stream. And again, uh, I, may, I may replace that with just a, a little bucket of lava. So that, uh, so that way we don't over, although I don't know, crystals are hard enough to come by. I might let those pass and just destroy the shards. The, the, those jokers pile up quick. So we got those guys. And then over here, we got a little bit different setup. Uh, do I have my silk touch pick? Yes, there's my silk touch pick. Uh, in case of emergency, redstone work, break glass. Oh, <laughs> I tripped myself out on that one too. I needed light. So I lit a fire into the glass because, I don't know, because, because I can. So we got our same filters over here for the raw cod. We're only going to get one tower of raw cod, and then the rest is going to start moving into the overflow. Um, although, again, that might be another one that ends up going to the trash. Um, I've got a filter over here for cooked cod. So in other words, if any of us start using our flaming swords, to uh to do the player kill mode it's going to filter out all the cook cod and dump those jokers into the fire because we we have no need for cook cod not even a little bit there's no point to keeping it uh we're keeping the raw cod because you can trade with that and we'd eventually like to get a couple of villagers down here so that way we could do some villager trading um over in the guardian farm so you know the the regular cod backs up we got some fishermen we can go hey uh you like emerald i like emeralds you like fish and and then go from there so there's our cod there's our cook cod and then we've got these two that are not filtered they're just hoppers they pick up everything else hopefully that's the idea that's the plan and then they go up into these last two overflow and then everything dumps out here and we've got a stream coming this way that'll dump into that hole there and anything that doesn't get picked up by a hopper along the way so even if the overflow gets backed up here items will still continue to flow into here and that's going to take you into the disposal unit so that way um, we avoid one of the problems that we had with the guardian farm last season and we don't have stuff overflowing and breaking filters and such. Um, in theory, in theory, this should be fairly resistant to forgetting to <laughs> logging yourself out or going AFK and kind of forgetting about it for a couple of days because you know that <clears throat> might have might have happened once once or twice might have. Um, in which case, all, all sorts of filters and stuff got backed up and, and just bad, bad stuff happened. And so this should take care of that. So everything should end up either in a box or ultimately getting burned in the fire. We are, this is not 100% lossless because the way these filters work, the way hoppers work, there's always a chance that too many items come by for the hoppers to pick them up or they come by too quick and the hoppers haven't had a chance to process them. And so extra items will, will accidentally skip the filter they were designed to get caught in. The idea is that they either get caught in the overflow or they go to the burning fires, not from whence they came, but the burning fires. Um, that, that is the idea. I got a bunch of boxes there for aligning items too. I, I kind of, I kind of packed these a little bit tighter than I should have. So it made routing a few things just a, a smidge interesting. Um, but that is the overflow for the cod. And honestly, instead of dropping it down here, oh wait, no, 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 never mind. That's right. That's right. Cause I'm not running all the extra cod into the, uh, overflow, all the extra cods going directly into the trash. Okay. I did think that through correctly. <laughs> And over here, we've also got a uh, trash can that's going to have its, uh, uh, that's going to stay over here. That way, if we run into stuff that we need to dispose of, or we got a bunch of stuff we got to get rid of, by being a trapped chest, that means that when this is opened, you'll, um, you can put whatever you want in there 
and it's not going to actually dispense anything until you close the chest. So here's your chance to start doing a bunch of shift clicking and go, oops, 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 not the ink, not the ink. Uh, <laughs> and then when you close, it'll start dispensing stuff out into the trash. That is, uh, that, that is, that is the end idea. That is the end goal. So in relatively little time, and I started working on a floor design yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. No, not yesterday. Uh, Sunday. I started working on this floor design Sunday. Uh, I'm not completely married to it, but I like that it blends in with the terracotta that we got. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different for this top. And I got a plan for the roof that we'll get to in just a little bit. Um, so, I mean, in very relatively little time, we've accumulated a ton of shards. Uh, those four chests and the hoppers all the way up to the water stream are backed up. And these two are backed up, and this guy is uh, half full. A little better than half full. And more coming by the minute. We, we've got these already filled up. Nope. Oh, almost a full tower of the, the crystals. And that's with me crafting a bunch of lanterns, uh, a few prismarine bricks for placeholders, uh, crafting all these stairs and Arcadius coming through and borrowing a bunch of shards for bricks. Uh, so we, we've been using the supply. This isn't just what's accumulated since Sunday. The, this is what is left from what's accumulated since Sunday. Uh, and we definitely got to get that villager down here because uh, we, we got some fish room. Fresh fish. Uh, and the over... Oh, oh my. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This, this is one of my concerns was that we're going to get so many prismarine shards um, completely blocking up our overflow. Although we've only got the one chest of overflow, it's, so it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's still, it's still concerning. I have also noticed that we are getting salmon, even though we're doing AFK kills. And it looks like that's because in the spawning chamber, we're getting salmon naturally spawning in the water. And the guardians are pushing them down and they're falling to their death. Same thing for the cod. Uh, like you're not supposed to get this much cod just from the, the guardians falling to their death. Some of that is because they are the, the 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 one more cup of coffee there. That is because the uh, the cod are naturally spawning in the tank at the top and getting pushed by the guardians into into the fall chamber and falling to their death. That's also how we're getting ink out of this too. I wouldn't call this an ink farm by any stretch of the imagination, but we are getting a nice amount of ink out of it. You know, uh, where we're inking a good deal. Wah, wah, wah. I know, I'll stop. Um, we are inking a good deal, and uh, it's working. It's working. So I need to find a better place for the bed other than the middle of the floor. I'd like to get a couple more lanterns in the floor, so I might play with the design again a little bit. Uh, maybe shorten the pool and put a couple of lanterns in the middle, uh, or maybe not, maybe just keep it a little bit dim. I mean, we got that border light around. Uh, I definitely want to work with the glass floor as much as I can, because we do have a couple of slime chunks near here. And while it hasn't been a problem so far, I've been keeping an eye on the, uh, I'm pointing like you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, the, the, the subtitles. Yeah, something fell, guardian dies, and, and all that. Uh, just to make sure I, I don't hear any squishes, because while building this, we had a lot of problems with uh, slimes spawning in nearby slime chunks, and I am concerned about that killing the uh, the mob cap. Yeah, they, they're up in here somewhere. And sometimes I'd see them over that way. Once or twice I saw them over that way. And I don't know if they started here and went there or vice versa. Um, and occasionally you'll find them down here in this little in this little corner. And there's a couple other places that they tend seem to pop up. So uh, that is something we got to do. Oh, yeah. And sometimes down that way. So I don't know if we've got 
a chunk and I'm just missing where it is or we get a couple of chunks but either way um, I'm like I'm sorely tempted to just evaporate everything between the bottom of the temple and here and just let it just obliterate it and then slab it up or, or you know slab it up to keep stuff from spawning to keep the slimes from spawning oh i also need to finish replacing all these torches with some more lanterns so we've got lighting back here to keep stuff from spawning and uh not have to worry about um uh, accidentally washing it out when you poke the wrong glass pane up there not not that i did that a few times maybe okay a lot um also <laughs> also I forget what I had to get at over here, but there was something I was after over here and I found some diamonds over here. I have found more diamonds working on this guardian redstone than I have any other digging I've done this season. And, and, and that's one of those things that I, I just, it amazes me. It amazes me to no end. So there that is. Let me, uh, oh, all right. Let me do this. Let me switch this over to the game and let me get the music going and then I'll show you one other thing and then we'll start in on the next part. So give me just a second. Okay, maybe that's not the best music for uh, <laughs> for what we're doing, but it works. Come on, guys. Sound a little more like a horn or a sax. All right, now let me go back to spectator mode real quick because I want to show you the other half of this. Um, all the way up here. This is the Guardian Spawn Chamber that we have. Um, I know if you were watching three, four weeks ago, somewhere around there, you saw that, uh, no, it was a, it was two weeks ago that I revamped this part here. So we've got water coming in from the edges and getting stopped by the fence gates to go to a two wide stream down the middle. They do still tend to collect over there for a little bit, but when you're down there, enough of them are spawning that they get pushed out of the way fast enough. So while this is not as quite as efficient as I would like, because uh, these guys can get stuck there, um, it's close enough because there there's enough of an area up here that they 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 spawn through frequently enough to either push them or to die and uh, not hold up too much of the cap. Because at, at best you're only going to get like four maybe five of these guys getting stuck in there and then all we have is a layer of falling water so i put a layer of dirt got a layer of water on top of that dirt and then knocked out the dirt and since guardians just need water it doesn't matter if it is a source block or falling water so the this from uh from where the top of this water is and this source block is actually one block higher than where guardians will spawn because when that does a spawn check it checks for one block above where the guardian's going to spawn this gives us the maximum space from here to where these guys are uh if we wanted to we could probably get more guardians faster by expanding this cube out a little bit more uh, or down a little bit more or both. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, I started working on the design that Reyes wanted. Oh yeah. <laughs> you see all this dark prismarine that, uh, that came from the farm as it was being generated and, and a flock of squids that would occasionally appear 
uh, graciously donated their ink to the project as well. Um, the only problem we're running into is Reyes didn't realize that this wasn't a perfect cube. So uh, it, it's a little bit wider than it is long depending on how you want to look at it. I mean, since this is technically the front of the temple, uh, yeah, it would be wider than it is long. I mean, we could always narrow it up a little bit if Rest really wants to do that, uh, just till they fit. But that's going to that's gonna reduce our spawning space, and that, that, that might not get what she wants. Although she was able to finish the uh, fog effect over here on this side of the valley to match there. And the rest of the temple is now completely glass. So she's got her ghost temple. We still haven't figured out what we're doing for the little ravine in here. I might come back through and replace that outer layer of lamps there with uh, some wool. Just uh, so that way you see black instead of the edge of the lighting that allows the fog effect to happen. That's that, that's one of the things that we're waffling about. Although we never decided what we're doing with the valley for keeping it or not either. I suspect we're keeping it. Then we get a little bit more to do here for the entrance and all that. But the uh, the temple is now a uh, a ghost temple. All glass except for the heart of the sea, and the guardians fall through that into the hole to their doom. Doom, doom, doom. And I bring up that fog effect because that is almost like an intentional segue into what I want to do here. All right, let me get back into uh, survival mode. I need a camera count, that is on my list of things to do. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was actually ripping up a lot of that roof and I uh, still obliterating everything between the bottom of the temple and the top of whatever this whatever ends up being the roof here uh, just to cut down on stuff spawning in the hallways like slimes and whatnot um, but making the reverse fog effect so in other words tearing up the ceiling uh, what would it be? 14 layers total? Cause it's seven layers down. So it's seven layers of in. Yeah. 14 blocks, seven layers of glass air, glass air, glass air, and then some sort of light. Although I think we'd have to put the carpet on top of the last layer of glass and then the light above that to get the fog effect going in the other direction. Um, so you've got the fog from up top down below and then when you're down here in the chamber you've got the fog from down below to up top uh, nice thing is that we won't have to murder pumpkins for jack-o-lanterns or trade with the uh, uh, cleric for glowstone because we will have plenty of sea lanterns which is good because we're about to go through plenty of sea lanterns on this server Medic has been chafing at the bit for sea lanterns. I have been chafing at the bit for sea lanterns. Because uh, in order to start building on the plane over by my shack of sadness, I, I need to light up the area and spawn proof it before I can start planning. And I needed light to do that. I was kind of waiting for the sea lanterns. Mission accomplished. Um, oh, and I got to figure out what I'm doing with this wall and the entrance uh medic built a really nice entrance now it is over here in a specific location so uh, redirecting the tunnel is one thing but we wanted the entrance here yes beach duck my shack of sadness hang on i'll show you we we got lucky and there was a shipwreck right here by the ocean monument it, it was actually kind of cool so Medic finished up the uh, the ship, so it's an actual enclosed space that you can use. And that's our entrance to and from the uh, the Guardian Farm. Ooh. Oh, 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 it's night. Let me, uh, let me get to a bed so you can see <laughs> before you find out exactly why. Uh, yeah, so I've been clearing, I've been flattening that area out for a beach, flattening this giant plane over here. And then over here, my starter shack of sadness. <laughs> 
Um, I moved everything out because I, I had intended to tear this down and, and I just haven't gotten around to that part yet. You know, th this is where the early game storage was overflowing with stuff and all the all the chests and things along the back, a little fire over in the chimney. You know, it, it was my beat shack, my starter shack. I was I was I still am half tempted to keep it and just repurpose it. And I still got to find a home for these two yahoos because I do want a uh, villager farm. Oh, yeah. Do, do you hear that beat shack? That's my voice. <laughs> I made a little villager voice pack. Um, so they're asking me, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, the duck had to go, unfortunately. Things were spawning on top of it. And uh, yeah, I'll let Reyes finish that one. Is that a bee? Why is there a random bee over by my place? Did you wander away? Why are you over by the water, too? Well, you're looking for a hive. See all the stuff on a... That, he, he's, that means he's collected some pollen. Oh. I, I kind of wish I had some leads. I'd take you home. You, you're just going to fly out over the ocean and die. It's a mercy. I promise. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, something's going to happen with this. I, I'm, I think this island here is where I want to put the uh, lighthouse and get a real, a giant lighthouse over here. I want to build a villager farm and I want to make the uh, the shiny emerald retirement home for villagers and, and get a uh, massive personal trading hall set up uh, themed like a retirement home for villagers and get some more farms going get some crop farms going get uh, get all the different all the different things but uh, I've got to light this plane because it uh, when it is nighttime it is something horrible and I'm tired of all the torches, but, uh, I got to move the food and whatnot over to my temporary Island of holding. I got to get these llamas over there. I got to move these cats. Why are you guys going to look at me like that? I got to move these cats. Go find me a dog. And, uh, I'm thinking of actually building a dock between here and that island too, and maybe put a uh, houseboat and a couple other boats on the on the docks. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, sailing boats. I definitely want at least one houseboat over there, so I can put all my personal storage and live in a houseboat by the ocean. I, I kind of like the idea of living in a houseboat by the ocean. That way. If Everything gets too much. I can just untether and go sail away for a while. <laughs> oh, and I, uh, I forgot about these guys. I'm going to have to move these guys, too. I'm not looking forward to that. There's a lot of cows, pigs, and sheep over here. Although, I don't know if I'm going to keep that farm, though. Because, uh... I haven't really been making use of that. I've been buying all my golden carrots from the villagers these days. Um, nah, I'll keep it. I'll do something with it. Not sure what, but I'll I'll move them. I'll move them somewhere. Maybe, maybe they'll be stored in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> all right. Little ADD today. Let's see if I can fly. And while I glide majestically back over to the Guardian Farm, let me get some coffee. I 
I am struggling with one other thing. I, I, I finally got my uh, ergonomic keyboard set back up. But I didn't realize just how much desk space that thing took up compared to a normal keyboard. Um, so I'm having trouble fitting everything on my desk again. A little bit more so than normal. And I get so used to the stupid wrong placement of the uh, home end insert and all that stuff on the other keyboard that I keep hitting the wrong keys. I'll, 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 I'll get to that. I'll get to that. <laughs> Alright, so here we are back here. Uh, I, I guess the big thing is is to uh, to start start digging. Or maybe I want to clear that out. I almost want to clear that out a little bit and work out the tunnel first. Because I would like to do two, at least two things over here. I'd like to get a little villager, a couple of villagers over here to set up as fishermen. Um, that'll probably happen off camera. I do try to keep uh, my live stream family friendly, and every time I end up moving villagers, uh, I end up with some not family friendly language occurring. It's weird like that. Oh, yep. Slime squishes. So, they're around here somewhere. I will have to figure that one out. Because while the slimes are there, it is affecting the mob cap, which is affecting all sorts of other fun. Let's see. Where are you at? I hear you. No, I don't. Where did you go? Oh, he's somewhere nearby. There he is. Come here, you. You're ruining my mob cap. Somebody actually has a data pack that uh, removes the faces from the slimes. I don't know how I feel about that. Vanilla Tweaks also has a couple of data packs that changes the colors of the slimes, too. So, instead of green slimes, you could end up with uh, gray or purple or something like that. Which, okay, that, that, that part is kind of cool. Especially if you want a gray faceless ooze because you're a D&D &D fan or something. Um, although only DMs like the gray faceless oozes. The, uh, the players, not so much. Except when it comes time for XP. That, then we love gray faceless oozes. XP. Not not the uses. Uh, which way is back? Help, I'm lost in my own tunnel. Oh, there we go. So that is uh that is the rundown of where things are at. Yeah, let me uh let's figure out this tunnel. Let me go put the, the slimes away in here for for the moment. Let me take the angry bee head off before I accidentally die from lack of armor. Um, oh, I've got a couple of tools over here too. Just, I, I don't know how much of that's going to stay and how much of it's going to go. Where's my box of heads? That didn't sound right. Ooh. While I'm here. Not all of them. Just most of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'll do something. Alright. Oh yeah. And leftover supplies. I got some emeralds because I'm trading with the villagers for the quartz and the glass. Because I... I I wasn't going to take the time to hunt down the quartz. I really wish that uh, you could get more quartz trades for per day than uh, than it looks like you can. And actually, I don't need the wrench right now. 
That wrench is one of the data packs that we have that lets you rotate the terracotta because when you're trying to get actual like repeated designs in the terracotta, uh, you have to go through some really weird geometry of what you place where and what order to, to get it to look the way you want. And that is, um, that is less than fun, shall we say. All right. Do I want to keep the bow and arrow just in case something jumps out at me? Yes, I do. That seems smart. Well, I need a sh I don't need an axe, but I should probably keep a shovel on me. And let me grab the fortune pick because we are a little short on cobblestone and I got to figure out uh, what I'm going to do about that. All right. So here's, I actually probably ought to find a uh, center on this wall. So we got one, two, three, one, two, nope. Uh, oh no, because we got two spaces over there and none over there. Um, yeah, let me, let me find the center of the room real quick. And then maybe make the hall go from the center down and then across. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I know the pool is centered on the floor. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, three. And then that means that these two... That's uh, going to be our hallway. Hmm. That does mean I need a design for a hallway that's either two blocks wide or four. Yeah. Okay. Just triple checking. I'll need some sort of floor design too. In the meantime, Let's get that going. And uh, this is where if I wasn't worried about copyright, I'd start playing Diggy Diggy Hole. And uh, Okay. I'll come back and knock a lot of that out. How far down do I need to go? All right. Time for struggling with coordinates with Anon. Um, hmm. And where do I want this hallway to come out anyway? Yeah. Let's see. We have it come out here. I'll set up a little... A uh, hidden door that goes this way, and that can go straight to the redstone. Yeah, so so this way can go straight back to the redstone. Uh, that'll give me my back channel access. All right, so I need to bring this. Um... 106, 107. Okay. 106, 107, and then across. This is the way we dig our hole. Oh, that's not that far. Yeah, and I'll get that lighting better too as soon as I figure out exactly what's what. 102. 3. 4. 5. 106, 107, right? That is what I said. Short term memory, something or other being what it is. Yeah, it's only blocks. 
Oh, good man sleeping. One of us ought to. Ooh. Hello, stuff. I probably should actually be cr collecting the redstone ore since it, uh... Fits in the box a little bit better, but we need cobble. This is the way we dig. Oh! Seriously! Oh, you glorious things. Why can't I find you when I'm actually, like, digging for diamonds? Like, I go on an hour-long mining session to dig for freaking diamonds, and what do I find? Nothing. Maybe an ore. One. Singular. There we go. Why? Because I'm digging a rotten little hole to make a tunnel. I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, but speaking of things I am going to get, let me grab this coal. Because I don't like leaving resources like that behind, especially since we uh, we tend to go through a lot of coal. Rast forgets that you can trade with the villagers for glass, so she will happily burn through the coal supply to... Uh, cook sand into glass and then you go you know you can trade with the villagers for that right and she goes oh I forgot and then continues cooking I think that's the part that kind of gets me it's not enough that you know you forget we all forget um, or at least I think we do I forget it's the uh, the wonton just uh, like and continues. What do you mean, whatever? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not about to dig to the other side of the... Oh, let me use the right pick on that. <laughs> I had enough of that when I was working on the floor. I was kind of glad I didn't live stream building the floor because, uh, yeah, yeah, I accidentally used the, the fortune pick on stuff I should have been using Silk Touch on a couple of times. There, there might have been some uh, unfamily-friendly utterances. Yeah, I know. I know. Besides, I think Beach Duck is laughing at Rast. And I'm kind of wishing she was here to be laughed at. Of course, I say that because she's not here too, so, you know. Alright, did I get this lined up right? Oh, there it is. Just one more block and I would have been alright. <laughs> All right, now, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so that gives us our tunnel. We're actually going to go that way. Instead of zigzagging around there, and I sadly let the coffee sit too long. It's unfair advantage. What unfair advantage? Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, that's what I was afraid of when I saw the uh, obsidian over there. Yep. Yep. All right. I guess that coal is uh, gone and gone. Uh, <laughs> so we'll block that out for the moment 
because that is no longer the way through. We'll go around that way. I just need to figure out a decoration for a hallway that is too wide or four wide. I'm almost tempted to, to widen this out to four wide. That way we could do sea lanterns down the edge and then more of the gray terracotta down the middle. Ooh. Or, this is going to require a fair amount of trading with the village people, um, do a run of the quartz pillars down the, the wall on the edges, the gray terracotta down the middle, and then embed the lanterns like uh, there in the wall instead of in the floor. And then just worry about the, the, uh, the wall design. Going to need some more glass too. Although, yeah, pretty good on glass. Uh, and I hear we're okay on terracotta. <laughs> I just need to get some more, uh, more cooked up. Yeah, let me, uh, you know what, let's, let's do that right now. While I'm thinking about it, let's grab this, let's go. We're good on glass. Let's go, let's go do some quartz trading real quick. Here I am about to go down the wrong tunnel. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I did just change it, so. The only problem is that we're coming out from a four-wide tunnel, or what will be a four-wide tunnel, into a three-wide lobby. Nah, I'll figure that part out later. Well, one, one step at a time. One step at a time. All right. What time is it? Oh, there we go. Oh. And uh, I do have uh, sliders enhanced defaults. That's what's helping the water texture. And it feels nice to have a video card that can handle that without, you know, making this thing look like a slideshow. Uh, it was. I, I tried on the on the really big shaders for a while there, and it sounded like a dust buster was about to pop off. But what was that about? Hello, server, load, please. The hell is, uh, mm. here I am bragging about stuff loading quickly, and then that happens. Oh, oh, did somebody dump stuff in storage? Okay, and you are over here keeping this loaded, right? Okay, uh, is that close enough to keep this running? Uh, those are not the same thing. Render and loaded are not the same. I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? All right, that's fair. All right. Uh... If I were rest, where would I no? What oh, there we go. And no, the diamonds are mine. Oh <laughs> there's the uh the texture pack that we added uh when we added the villager voices. I mentioned it but I didn't have a dog handy to show. And somebody tamed them and brought them over here uh, last week, I think it was. So when you tame a wolf, instead of being a white wolf, it now turns into a black lab. Isn't he cute? I might have to tweak the texture a little bit because he doesn't quite look, he doesn't look entirely black lab. Like I think I need to darken the face and the legs a little bit more. Add a little gray on the chin. 
I mean, I wouldn't know anything about Grey on a chin. Nope. Nope. All right. My wallet of importance. Drop those guys in there. It looks like it's going to be nighttime. Oh, there it is. I keep looking at the coffee like I'm ready to grab another sip, but I know better. All right, let's see if I can hurry up and get uh, two rounds of trading with these uh, masons over here for the quartz and quartz pillars, because uh, I'm hoping I might be able to catch them before they set up for the day. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, you guys. All right, so let's grab as many pillars and blocks as we can. And pillars and blocks. All right, so I got an A round of trading. And these guys won't refresh their trades until the morning, so that means we got a little bit extra in that we wouldn't normally have been able to do. I'm okay with that. It's kind of weird hearing my voice from all these guys around here. I, I mean, the, the voice data pack is great when you're dealing with a villager or two, but when you got a whole hallway full of them, it, it's, it's just kind of, it's fun. Um, I noticed that the game does seem to alter the, the, pitch and playback speed just a little bit so there is some very some variation between them so it's not the same monotonous thing and I'm thinking uh, that's probably a good thing um, oh there it is it must be time to work oh yeah Let's uh, get the pick out that way. I might be able to get a little bit of XP on that. I'd get more if I actually remember to take the armor off, but I'm more concerned about the quartz than I am the XP. That's a yes. Okay, no, I want the XP. Oh, and they're locked up, aren't they? Yep. Come on. You got one more trade in you, right? Right? No. Although, um, I'm going to need... No, I don't need to trade for terracotta with these guys, do I? Because we should have plenty of terracotta in there. And I brought a couple of stacks that we can re-dye. Eh, we'll see if that's enough. Because I got 32 there that I can cook up. I can re-dye those two stacks from orange and green to gray and cook those up. That should be enough. Maybe not. Oh, almost forgot. Um, here, bud. Let me borrow. There we go. John, seriously, dude. That is a uh, constable, John. Who, for some strange reason, likes to find places to just stand and spin. I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, I'm still kind of surprised that he's even in there, but... Well, because they can detect them in there. Yeah, no, they, they can detect them in there. So they know that there is uh, a golem in there. Well, hello. Maybe that's what I need to do. Next time Jub is snoring, get a mic on that and change the dog. 
Yeah. Emptying out your uh, storage. Ah. Uh. Hey, hey, I clean up eventually. Oh, I don't know if anybody noticed. I, because I was playing with the banners earlier and I got tired of trying to find a loom to include running over to the guy in the trading hall. Um, I swapped one of these bookshelves out for a backwards loom. So at a glance, it looks like it's a couple of empty shelves, but you've also got the uh, loom workstation available. I'd like to find a way to hide some more of the workstations. So that way they're there. No, well, yeah, yeah that's fair too. Uh, but no, I'd like to find, I'd like to find more ways to hide stuff like that. So it's there, it's available, and you can be working on stuff while you're over here waiting for, for that. But uh, I'm not sure what we, what we need. I mean, I know we need a bunch of anvils. Having the two furni here definitely help. Um, the stone cutter, definitely. The loom. But what else would we need over here to make sure that you could work on prepping for a build? Am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, cause we might, uh, you might want to hide a smoker, although the furnace is good enough for now. Cause if you're doing something that big, you should be headed over to the, the smelter array anyway. Well, once that gets fixed, that that's high up on the agenda. Uh, you don't really need a lectern. Oh, we are going to need a spot for some brewing stands though. Cause it'd be nice to have a couple of potion just ad hoc potion stations that you could brew while you're over here. Ah. Like, like a big uh, push the button and get the potions kind of deal? Like... Yeah, yeah. Now, are you going to do it like that, or are you going to do some of the prefab ones like I did in Season Zero, or a combination of the two? Because... Because uh, I might lobby for a combination of the two only because uh, there are some potions that we're going to use a ton of and it'd be kind of nice to just you know push a button and out pops three potions of health and then use the lever throw for when you want uh, anything that's not on the quick hit list and because my memory that <laughs> I could never remember what I need. But no, it, it, it would probably be good to have both that way. Because there are times where you're like, oh yeah, I need this one thing. Yeah. Still trying to remember why we've got this box over here. And if, and if it's time to dump all this in storage, because I think this is all the... I think these are all supplies left over from building the uh, the inside. Yeah. I think that is that rests. Um, almost done with the interior. Uh, let me make sure I put the right box away. There we go. Uh, cause we got the main, you know, the bulk storage is done. The 
multi-item storage is done, the overflow is done, and actually starting to back up a little. <laughs> Although, I, I guess we got enough sp extra space just in case. Uh, these boxes are here, but not labeled yet for the non-stackables. I think the, the one thing that's missing is the armory down here to be finished. And a lot of that comes down to we don't have enough... Uh, we need more barrels. Which means I really need to get cracking on the lumber farm too. That might be a, a project for either this weekend or the next. It should be nighttime, isn't it? Where's the old man mode that lets you go to bed early? <laughs> That's not allowed. Okay. All right, so you're going to be here while that's going on. I got some more quartz. Well, since I'm here, I could probably get some more quartz. Yeah, since it's a new day. How are you? That's not a waste of time if you're getting supplies. I, I wasn't expecting to spend all that time on supplies, but... I mean, no. what? Why would I make you another pickaxe? I'm not going to die in 20 minutes. It'll be at least 30. Oh, that's right. It's not the start of the day yet. I missed a day. That dragon head cracks me up every time, too. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. Early bird gets the trade. Any day now. Ooh. There, there is a resource pack that I saw on Planet Minecraft. I was checking the download stats for the Villager Voice thing. And uh, under other resource packs, it adds a little light just under the day night thingy so that way it turns green when it is villager working hours and then red when it is not so you get an easy view of should these guys be working or not Did I hear a spider? Come on, you guys got one more trade in you, right? No, I hear you playing with your workstation, but I don't, I don't see you working. Let's get to the part where you're actually working. All right, fine. All right. I thought we could be friends. I thought we could work together. <laughs> Something like that. All right. So there that is. All right, let's go back and start our path. And away. Ooh, hello, black ink. I need. I'm gonna need you too. Rest. Thanks you for your contribution. Any more? That was one of the nice things about working on this, uh, on the outer shell. Every time I'd pop up here with more, uh, shards for the prismarine, there'd be at least four or five squid. 
somewhere around here. Because that's a lot of dark prismarine. And that stuff is stupidly expensive. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. I know you know. Because I saw how much dark prismarine you used uh, last season. All right, and yeah. Ooh. I wonder how tall I want to make this. Hmm, decisions, decisions. But I am going to do like I did in the main room, and I'm going to put the floor design below the glass. That way I don't have to worry about the slimes. Because uh, that. And I kind of like the glass floor. I, I really like the design sunk down one. I don't know why. It is, uh, it is very appealing. So, now that I know what I want to do with the walls, I do need to figure out, oops, mm. I do want to figure out the right pick to pick up the lamps with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gee, come on guys, die quietly. Oh, that is the other thing that I thought of, too, uh, since we were talking about ways to soften them up before they land. Because uh, when I was going at the start of the stream, I went through the design of the Guardian Farm and how it all works and all that. And I got all the parts where it works really well. The one of the parts that doesn't work so well is on the player kill side, the honey blocks uh, absorb 80 percent of the fall damage. So it doesn't really soften them up that much. Um, not as much as we would like. And so we got to figure out a way to soften these guys up a little bit more um, before before you do them in. And I'm actually half tempted to say um, just a little bit further up. Get a, so when the redstone block moves into place to put it in the player kill mode, also turn on some dispensers in front of um, in front of tripwires and shoot arrows at them as they fall to soften them up. What do you think? Do Rube Goldberg? <laughs> it's always necessary. Come on. What do you mean? What do you mean where it's necessary? It is always necessary. All right, let me get back to my. Uh... I, I am absolutely seeing it. I'm loving it. I don't get it. I, I thought you'd be all on board with that, especially since we got all those arrows out of the witch farm. What? What is this overkill of which you speak? Congratulations. And? The excess killing power is always, no, it's always needed. It's not, it's not enough to kill them. We need to utterly destroy them. Quickly. What? No. <laughs> yeah, they did. They killed me three times while I was trying to get the kill chamber set up. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. I, I did some very nature-like things to them. 
Red and Tooth and Claw. Ooh. Imagine if this game had butter. That's a crafting ingredient that could be added. I, I think we could all get behind some butter. You hear that, Mo Yang? Some butter. And that way that that way that way you, you add it when you're when you're cooking the beef and that increases your saturation. Or is that what you're getting ready to say? Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm down with that. I like that. Add more butter. And that's what the French chef keeps telling me. <laughs> All right. Um, there that is for the moment. Thought I had a box that had gold and other miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. Where did I put that slime that I need? I'm going to need at least one of those. Did I put the slime? I th There's only but some... Oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I put it in here. Yeah, th those overflow shards kind of got me worried. Like, I only got six boxes. How do I keep losing stuff already? All right. Uh, so. Floor is going to have to go down at least two. I really want to get the lantern squared away first. Um, only because I don't want to... I don't want to have stuff spawning behind me as I work on this. That seems bad. Yeah, that'd be bad. Oh, I forgot how many prismarine crystals these things go through. All right, we'll start with that. That goes in there. That goes in there. Did I not have some dirt already in here? I do now. And some cobble. Cobble, cobble. Let me move the glass over there so I don't keep getting it lost. All right, so now for the fun question. If I'm going to do the same cross design and the quartz pillars, stop scratching on my hands too. Arr, the antihistamines are only helping but so much. All right. And what am I going to do for this junction here? Or... Or do I do... Hmm. Hmm. Caution. Thinking in progress. So that's going to go across like that. We're going to have the terracotta design going down. Or do I want to move this up a block like a wainscoting and then just run lamps around the outer edge 
which solves the lighting problem. That would be in keeping with the general theme here, too. Yeah, I might... Uh, that, let's... All right, let's grab some quartz stairs. Some pillars. Oh, there you are. Um, let's go... Bam, bam. And then I can figure out the rest of the wall and... Yeah. You just watch me. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, these guys do pick up steam awfully quick. I must, I must add. He's softening them up with a bow. Oh, in where? Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. I was like, are you, are you trying to soften him up with a bow? Because, I mean, I guess you could go all bow hunter on him, but... This is the way we dig a hole. Surprised he didn't craft up a bunch more lanterns. Ooh, hello redstone. Yeah. Yeah, careful, uh, careful with the lava. Because <laughs> there, uh, there definitely is a pool around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> nope. Uh, that is my silk touch. That is my silk touch. Okay. There we go. Round and round we. Hey, hello. <laughs> Let's pause and grab the diamonds real quick because, uh, yep. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have been doing. I should have been cooking up the, the stupid terracotta while I was at it. I got it. Uh, there, 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 there's ink sacks and uh, dye in there. Or do you want to keep digging? Either way. Okay. Um, you know what we're missing. 
Yeah. No, no, I, I got, I got, the, I got this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hold my coffee. I got this. Uh, except maybe for the inventory space part. I've got a box of cooking and fuel. Where I just so happen to keep some furnaces and some coal blocks. You know, just in case I need to do some cooking. Mm hmm. It is awfully convenient. That's why I made it. <laughs> but let's let's not mince words here. All right. We'll get those guys going there. Those guys going there. And I should have just a little bit left. There we go. Ooh, um. Yeah, let's go around that way. Oh, yep, 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 yep. And since we're going to have the glass on the floor there, that means that these guys are going to definitely need to go there. I just got to figure out what I want to do for the corners. Do I want to turn it upright like that or have it facing one? Nah, I did, yeah, I want that upright. I want it to look intentional. Yeah, that's an option too. Um, okay. Because you can always use the stone cutter to turn a regular block into chiseled as well. Uh, yeah, except that's got to get moved over one more. So chiseled and then we get that going that way yeah because all well all the other corners are inside corners so you don't see them uh, i've got sea lanterns tucked in those corners it, it's not going to look right with the regular sea lanterns there though Yeah, that is better than the bullseye. So just grab a couple of regular quartz blocks and head over to the stone cutter because uh, it looks like we're going to need a couple more as we turn the stuff around. And I need to go grab my toolbox. If I can get that stupid wrench out again. I understand, Rayest, what you went through with that, uh, <laughs> all that, all that black, uh, <laughs> the, the, the black terracotta base that she made and all the fun that that entailed. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did originally, but I wanted to work on it. There we go. All right. Um, that could work. And ladies and gentlemen, this was the whole process of getting these guys put together too. I also, I think I might reorient the pools now too. Since we got the hallway coming in here, turn the pools the other way or keep them the same. 
Ah, let me clear out all the extra stuff. Uh, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's not do it that way then. That's how you end up with a hot mess, apparently. Uh, turn. Nope. Passed it. There we go. There we go. Uh, you want to grab the pillars and start working on that part? Oh, the rest of that, I'm not sure what the wall's going to be. But you see the level of the pillar's going to work at. Turn, turn, turn. Something, something, seasons. Turn, turn, turn. Of course, this is the part that, that's been kind of interesting for me to adjust to. Normally, this is when I'm listening to somebody else do their stuff. Now I get to be the one producing the stuff to listen to. <laughs> You know, it's definitely different being on the other side of the microphone. Uh, I will say that. All right, and there we go. I gotta, I do want to keep working on some more data packs. The, the, the voice one kind of whet my appetite for that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm kind of at the crossroads where I got time on the weekends to work on data packs or episodes, but definitely not both. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, shoot. The, the, the pattern is, f uh, two by two, but I've got a three by three space here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I could not have it there, but then it wouldn't blend into the hallway, right? Uh, unless we want to move the hallway over one. Hey, that that is not... Do you, do you know how many times I rearranged that stupid floor yesterday? Because I kept going, oh man, it's too long on this side. Oh, now it's too short on that side. Now it's not centered right. Doggone it. I just want the... No, no, let me move. Words, words. Mm hmm Okay. Um, midway. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. So, in other words, I'll, I'll do, um, and then maybe, all right, hang on. Setting up. <laughs> Reticulating pylons. All right, so we'll have two crosses out, two crosses out. Then do what? A giant pool down, down the middle like this.
Um, all right, let, let me come in. Uh, another one there. That's, oh, that's another one there. And how wide is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we'll go one more there and one more there and then do a pool. Yeah, and then do a pool in the middle there. Okay, that could work. Oops. There we go. There we go. Yes, no, oh, one too many. There we go. Like so. And like so. What? So, so I binge watched a little Coralis this weekend. Look into my eyes. Nothing but my eyes. Uh, oh, that's right. I do have the court stairs. Where's my, where's my buckets of water? There they are. Yeah, we can try that. Although, I don't like the spacing. And I'm going to want to reorient these so they're going in the other direction now. I like the idea, though. I like the idea. Uh, No, I, I like I like adding the pools. Um, I gotta figure out the spacing to make it look a little more intentional and a little less like, uh, oh yeah, I needed something extra, so let me throw this in the middle. Maybe both. Two, which box? Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, well, no, not with the hallway being as tight as it is. Um, I, I'm okay with making that kind of slate alteration. Just pray I don't alter it any further. Um, let's try the bigger one first. Okay, fine. Don't turn on me. It's okay. I see how it is. Oh, stairs. Why do you frustrate me so? That's a little better. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, until I decide later that I don't like it and rip it all up and start over again. That is the nice thing about Minecraft. You don't like it, you can always just rip it up and try it again. 
I hear an itchy puppy. All right. Um, still don't know what I'm going to do for this design over here, though. So I got to figure out exactly where the. All right. Um. Okay, okay, so let's do this. Those guys there. Maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll just glass over the lava and call that done. Like, right, yep, it's a glass floor over lava. Beautiful. <laughs> Something's going to go there. I just don't know what. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's not what I need. I need one, two, three, and then the rest of the pool. Uh, spin the blocks. Nope. There we go. There we go. What? That you're closing this in on me as uh as I'm trying to work. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah. That wrench is the best thing that ever got added. Hmm. Eh, we'll see if this grows on me. Alright, uh, so, I, yeah, I will come back and I'll do something different with the water beds in here. Hmm. Yeah. So I, yeah, I've been wondering about the wall, uh, cause well, cause we've already got a fair amount of the terracotta, uh, in the wall as it is. And I just don't know if we want to keep that. If we want to keep that design and just run pillars periodically. Um, like have um, a pillar running there maybe. A pillar running there. How do I have those corners going? I've got those corners going. Nope, that might that might not work there. No, it's not. Nope. Hmm. I do like having those pillars. Yeah. I 
I don't like that corner there. I do like having those pillars there. Because right now we've got that quartz pillar shelf running inset from or offset from the wall, except right up here. So maybe we do have this pillar here. And then maybe run. Um, oh, it, yeah. It's just a question of what do I put above the door? I had that one right already. I mean, statistically, at least one of them's got to be right out the gate. Okay, no, it doesn't have to, but... Have whatever... Oh. <laughs> Actually, I was going to go... And... other way but come on work with me <sighs> you rotten two there we go and I do like your chiseled Yeah, no, I, I, I was just checking the uh, spacing behind the wall. Definitely going to have to throw down some carpet or glass or something. Oh. In the terracotta... Yeah. All right. Ooh. Um. We go one, two. I just got to figure out what to put on that offset. Hang on, I need stairs. Uh, except that feels like it fits a little different because I've already got the quartz column art here in the corner. And I'm not sure that's going to look right having two of them next to each other like that unless we did it matching on this side too, which means this side's going to be off by one. Yeah. Um, unless, well, um, in the strictly redstone sense, yes. However, comma, um, and then yeah, put the uh, and then put these guys right here. And I do want to get a little more lighting up here. Oop. I don't want stuff. I don't want spiders spawning on the inside of the walls or anything. And then we'll 
go like that. And that'll be like it was normally there. Nope. Almost forgot one. There we go. Oh, that prismarine was just a placeholder anyway. That, that, I, I actually wouldn't mind putting uh, gray glass so that way it matches where the waterways are. Oh, here? Um, oh, 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 for the, for the top. Yeah, no, no, no. The, those were, those were placeholders too. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with the roof. And I just wanted to get something to get an idea for wall height and all that. Because honestly, because honestly with as much, uh, with as much quartz as we have, I'd almost want to do the quartz stairs up there just to tie it in a little bit better. Uh, the, and the other thing was, is what we did up here depended on what we did with the roof too. And now that we know that we're going to do the fog effect going up, um, now I, you know, so in other words, we're going from a lighter and then maybe the dark prismarine, maybe we just start in with the glass. And so the, the fog actually starts where the, uh, <laughs> where all the waterways go. So you see stuff moving through the, the fog. But we do need, we do need some sort of a line. There, there does need to be something where those upside down stairs are. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it's got to fit. That's why I was thinking the quartz. So in other words, we got the upside down quartz stairs and then everything above that is the beginning of the fog receding upwards. Yeah. Oh, it, uh, yeah. Really? Because I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just realized I've committed to doing this texture all the way down the hall too. I just got to figure out how far apart I want to space the pillars. Yeah. True. True. Or tie into what's on the floor. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I got to figure out spacing because I definitely like the idea of having pillars spaced out periodically. And maybe that'll change the uh, frequency between floor pattern and pool. So in other words, from pillar to pillar is pattern. And then from that pillar to the next pillar is pool. And then figure that out. Uh, e either way, either way, it means I'm going to have to go uh, grab some more terracotta. I think we get enough, though. <laughs> oh, no, I saw I saw all the terracotta that Medic dumped into the community storage. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was probably going to go with the gray um, since we got black up top. And then this is going to be where lights are 
shining up from. So instead of using the black glass for the fog going up, use the gray fog, or the gray fog, the the gray fog for the glass going up, the, gl the gray glass for the fog going up. Especially since I've already got gray glass in place for all the waterworks, and I really don't want to change that with all the water. You have no idea how much I don't want to mess with that with all the water. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it is the one that is just gray. I think I've got some left over in one of these boxes. Yeah. Yeah, just gray. The gray I can never spend right, spell right because I spent too many formative years close to the BBC. And I've been forever confused on gray versus gray. Now, this is coming together. Yeah, def definitely, definitely got to move these guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to happen tonight, though. It's uh, it's 8, eight o'clock already. And, uh, yeah. And I'm definitely going to change the orientation of these pools, though. Or maybe I'll... Maybe I'll try to... Ooh. Well, that that's what I was thinking of, is maybe do an angle this way and an angle this way and get a little more of a Tetris feel to it. Like the little L brackets. So that way it's going from the hallway out to the farm and from the hallway out to the storage on the side. Oh, I, I, uh, ripping up all this glass. <laughs> uh, I don't think haste actually impacts your, your glass there. Good, sir. No, no, I'm, I don't, I don't know. Hello. Uh, components, resource components, uh, Let's, uh, oh, no, I think I want that on the other side. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I should have grabbed two buttons. Um. There we go. There's our backstage access. All right. So we got this room. So we get our hallway done. We got our design fairly well done. Uh, we have gone over how the farm works for everybody, which is awesome. Still got to figure out what we're going to do with this room here, though. Especially since it narrows down to three wide, and I gotta be mindful of that lava. I, I am still more than half tempted to go from the just glass over the lava and call that done. Maybe add a little trim here and there. I don't know. That that's that's for thinking later. And the walls. But there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of digging happening. Maybe maybe I'll do a bonus stream on the weekend where it's just me ripping out stone. Um, as exciting as that sounds, I don't know. Some people some people enjoy that. To each his own. I'm not judging. So with the uh, beautiful sounds, oh, let me find the right button. Where's the right button? There we go. There's the right button. <laughs> So the beautiful sounds of Guardians in the background, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. If you uh, haven't already, help the channel out. Give a follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. 
I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Do Coffee Craft on Tuesdays and Games Revisited on Thursdays. And um, I am I would like to do the extra odd stream here and there on the weekend when I can squeeze one in. And if you follow, you'll always know when I go live. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and other various bits get posted. Uh, you've heard all this before, so I won't belabor about likes and bells and all that other fun stuff. Because you, you know how that works. You've been around this for a while. And if you can... Please support the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So uh, as a value for value thing, if you're getting value out of this content, be it entertainment, education, a combination of the both, head on over to live.anonjunior.com and consider giving a little value back, even if it's just enough for, you know, another fresh cup of coffee. I will happily take a fresh cup of coffee. So, and again, it's strictly value for value. So only if you're getting some value out of the show and you want to give a little bit uh, equivalent value back, live.anonjunior.com that'll take you to where to the Streamlabs page where you can uh, donate tip whichever way you want to think about it and uh, with all that said and done thank you have fun and I'll uh, see you next time